Hey guys, Jason here at Drum Percussion Studio, and I just wanted to share a short little mallet tutorial with you uh, as some of you are getting started playing instruments like the marimba, xylophone, vibraphone, things like that. Um, sometimes it's kind of confusing trying to remember what the notes are and where they are, so uh, I just want to take a little extra time to go back over some of the things we say in class. So first of all, this instrument right here, this is a marimba, which is a big xylophone. It is set up the same way a piano is. On a piano, these notes down here would be white, these would be black. So these are called naturals, these are called accidentals. And so the first thing that we need to know is how to identify one note. If we can find one note, we can find all the others. So one thing that I like to point out is, if you notice, these accidentals are set up in a pattern, threes and twos over and over. Every time you see a group of twos, the note that comes right before it, just below it and to the left, is a C. So here's a group of two accidentals. Just before it is a C. Up here is another group of two. That is a C. Now one of the things that helps me to remember that that is a C is, if you think about the letter C, it has two points. One, two. So that correlates to the two notes that we have up here. So if I know that that is a C, I can count up or down to figure out the rest of my notes. For example, C, D, E, F, G, and in music after G we go to A, B, and there's another C. Again, I could go back to the C and I could go backwards if I want. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, and there's another C. So another way to identify your notes quickly is, you know, one will do it, but if you can remember two, that's even faster. So the group of three every time is going to start with an F. So once again, I've shown an F up here has one, two, three points. So that might be a way to help remember that when you see three accidentals together, the note just before it, just below and to the left, is an F. And I can double check that because I go F, G, a, B, there's my C, D, E, F, etc., and etc. So we go up and down. A couple other things. We have what we call the accidentals, what would be the black keys on the piano, the keys that are up here. And there are two types of accidentals. They're sharps and flats. So right here is a symbol that we use in music. That is the flat sign. Looks a little bit like a lowercase b. And then right here, this is our sharp sign. Looks a lot like a hashtag. And then if we want it to go back to normal, we call that natural. So that's the natural sign that we might see in our music. So flat means lower and sharp means higher, both of those by a half step. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we're talking about our scales. Um, but the distance between the notes from one note to the very next possible note is what we call a half step. So if something is a half step higher, that means that we call that sharp. And if it's a half step lower, it's flat. Sometimes I think about a car. This is my car, okay? Use your imagination. If a car gets a flat tire, it might sink down a little bit. So flat means lower. And if something is sharp, maybe you step on something sharp, you might jump up into the air and you might go a little bit higher, all right? So hopefully that will help you get started so you can start learning your notes on the keyboard and putting that together with the sheet music. See you in class. Bye.